Hello there, brothers and sisters in Christ. God bless each and every single one of you at Hunter's Point here with another video. I do hope and pray that each of you all watching are having a good Sunday night so far, wherever you all are at. I do hope and pray that each of you are all doing well. I appreciate uh, those of you who have been bearing with me as of late. I know I haven't been the most active. Uh, I've just had a lot going on in my life personally, and you know, ultimately, I just... I don't believe in coming on here unless I'm feeling led. I, I think that's the most important thing that I want to be hammering home uh, as much as I can, is I believe it's more important for me to come on here when the Lord is leading me to come on here and present something, as opposed to just coming on here and doing a video for the sake of doing a video. right? And I trust that those of you who have supported my channel for you know, any lengthy amount of time I trust you all understand that. Yeah, I firmly believe in maintaining quality as opposed to fixating, hyper fixating, if you will, on quantity. So I'm always going to come on here when I'm feeling led. But if I'm not feeling led, usually it's because I'm feeling led to rest and focused on other areas, then I'm going to do that. You know, but for those of you who have been understanding and supportive of that, which has been virtually all of you, uh, I appreciate that, and so I just wanted to take a moment to personally thank you all just for supporting me for any amount of time, you know, whether you've been supporting the channel for, you know, a few days, a few weeks, uh, a few months, and even those of you who have been supporting me a couple years or longer. Yeah, I really, really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Now, I wanted to come on here and give an update, as I know it's been a little bit since I've given a comprehensive news update. I wanted to focus on the record heat that is being seen in some parts of the world, as we now have had 1,400 plus records, temperature related, of course, that have been broken in the span of a week. I'm going to say that again, just because of how crazy that is. The world has seen over 1,400 temperature records broken in just the past week as heat waves have swept all across the globe. I'm going to get right into this. This is your one article world news update for the 23rd of June, 2024. The article is off of endtimeheadlines.org and will be linked in the description box below as per the usual. The world breaks 1,400 temperature records in a week as heat waves sweep the globe. This week, more than 1,000 temperature records have been broken across the world, many of them shattered by extreme heat. Hundreds have perished while making the Hajj pilgrimage to Islam's holiest site, Mecca, while some 100 million people are under a heat advisory in the United States. This has been all over the world. This isn't limited to just one or two countries. The total number of heat-related deaths is not yet clear, but it's pretty common knowledge that at least hundreds have died. And that's unfortunate when it's pretty much commonly accepted that at least several hundred, you know, but you could be talking well over a thousand plus by the time that this is all said and done. But at least hundreds have died in an unseasonably early heat wave in India, which has seen some of the most extreme temperatures. At least 100 people have died in the last three months due to heat. The heat waves are what the world is saying is, quote, the fingerprint of climate change, quote unquote. This is what a lot of the worldly experts are saying and are a glimpse of what's to come as human-induced climate change continues to amplify extreme weather. Keep in mind, this is climate change as the world believes it is. Quote, it should be obvious that dangerous climate change is already upon us, a climate scientist told the Washington Post. Quote, people will die because of global warming on this very day. They love throwing those phrases around, right? Climate change and global warming. It's early in the summer for these kinds of temperatures, and scientists say that might make the heat even more dangerous. Earlier than usual heat can catch people by surprise, one climate scientist said, because their bodies don't have enough time to acclimate to rising temperatures. Climate change also means heat waves are coming earlier and earlier each year, putting more people at risk. As extreme weather becomes more common, experts say it's crucial that cities update their infrastructure to handle the heat. 
quote, the longer it takes us to catch up, the more lives that are on the line, said the Director of Climate Resilience and Sustainability at the Center for Climate and Energy Solutions, which is a U.S.-based climate nonprofit organization. The threat of climate change is grave, but research shows many people are still skeptical of the climate crisis effect on their lives. Between 2000 and 2019, extreme heat killed an estimated 489,000 people per year, according to the World Meteorological Organization. Last year, 14% of Americans said there was no concrete evidence of climate change. The effects of climate change may be irreversible, but scientists say humans could lessen future warning by stopping the usage of things that emit greenhouse gas. A seminal 2023 UN report advised that nations would need to immediately stop using fossil fuels to prevent dangerous overheating in the next decade. Many people don't realize how quickly extreme heat can become deadly, experts told the Associated Press, particularly when conditions are humid. In fact, extreme heat kills more people in the United States each year than hurricanes, floods, and tornadoes combined. And you know, look, it's clear, right? It's, even when you look at baseline data, we can see that our climate is changing. It's just not in the way that the world believes. You know, a lot of them twist and manipulate data to fit their own narrative. I think most people know by now to not take what the government's or the organizations that are directly affiliated with governments, I think people have learned to predominantly not take what they say at face value. Because you don't necessarily know what they're telling the truth about or what they're lying about. And I believe now more than ever that's true. <laughs> yeah, you really have no clue what they're lying about or what they're telling the truth about. It's becoming harder and harder to differentiate between the two. And I can tell you now, it's only going to get worse as we progress forward into the future. All right, so that is the news. I wanted to come on here and tell you all about the record heat that is being seen all over the world. As again, more than 1,400 temperature records have been broken across the globe in just the past week. And we have now seen hundreds upon hundreds of people passing away, particularly in the Hajj pilgrimage region. So please keep all of those people in prayer. That will conclude your news update for June 23rd. I'm going to go ahead and pull up eSword, which is my online digital Bible program. And we're going to go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 through 4. This is the saving gospel message. This is how you were saved if you believe this in your heart alone. It says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received and where ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. That is the Gospel, the Good News, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. That is the message of salvation. And all those who believe in that alone will not perish, but have eternal life. And I'm actually going to read John chapter 3, verses 16 through 18, which I believe tie in beautifully with the saving gospel message. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. See, Jesus did the work. All you have to do is believe in him, to trust in that finished work, that he did that for you. You know, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, God the Son, the second part of the Trinity. He died on the cross, shedding his precious purifying blood for the remission of all mankind's sins. That's past, present, and future sins. They were all covered and washed clean by the blood of the Lamb. 
He was buried in the tomb three days, proving that he was dead, and he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, for our justification and therefore our salvation. See, Jesus did it all. He did the work. All you have to do is believe in him, to place your faith in that work that he did. It really is that simple. I want to finish here by reading Ephesians 2, verse 8 and 9, two of my all-time favorite verses throughout all of Scripture. And they read as follows, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. We know that grace, by definition, is getting what we don't deserve, which God has offered to us is the free gift of salvation. And we accept and receive that free gift once and for all, past, present, and future, by faith alone, in the finished redemptive work of Jesus Christ alone. Jesus did it all. If there's one takeaway that I want people to leave this video with, it is that. Jesus did it all. 100% Christ, 0% additives. All you have to do to be saved and sealed with the Holy Spirit is to place your faith in him alone. It's not a mixture of what Christ did on top of whatever you can do. Faith alone in Christ alone is what saves, period. End of story. Faith is what is accounted to you as righteousness. And that's through the finished work of Christ Jesus. It's that simple. So that's where I'm going to leave you all off at for this video. I pray that if you're a non-believer, may right now be the moment of salvation for you. Because you're not guaranteed tomorrow. You're not guaranteed your next breath. So I pray that you make the choice to believe on Christ alone now while you still have that chance. I will see you all in the next video whenever it is, should the Lord tarry is coming. Otherwise, God bless you all. All right, take care.